So welcome to video 10 of the AT, -AT build. This, uh, the, the first nine videos were the SMKR uh, retro, the old school Star Wars group build that we did. And that, that finished up in like, um, I believe it was May of 2016. And I had done some video coverage of this and then what in I think it was like March or April of last year 2017 I lost a whole bunch of video footage so uh, anyhow I, I do want to get started on this some more and let me show you what's what's been going on since then so I painted the main body color I used Tamiya XF19 sky gray and I added just a little bit of white to it in order to uh, lighten it up a bit. I used Mr. Hobby Aqueous H76 Burnt Iron to the back grills here. And I believe, if I remember right, I just used some flat red for the stripes here. So what I did was kind of weathered the, the the stripes. What we got here, let's see uh, if I can zoom this in a bit here. So this turned out pretty neat. What I did was I just, uh, I think I just put some some masking on there to break up the lines. Now this isn't really totally accurate. Uh, I was just doing this off the top of my head. There needs to be like some section breaks along these these red stripes here, but you know, whatever. I guess I'm not that uh, too concerned. This is just more of the idea of Empire Strikes Back, but then the actual, you know, trying to be so perfectly close to Wedge's um, snow speeder. So anyhow, um, yeah, you can see some distressed. Um, the, the the paint job here it's kind of chipped away a bit unfortunately I had a little bit of problem with this it kind of was bending on me a little bit so I just kind of put a bunch of super glue on here to reinforce it hopefully once I do a clear coat it won't be so noticeable but yeah as you can see it is a little bit pigeon toed it's kind of toed in a little bit here on but that's unfortunately unavo unavoidable now if you're new to this you haven't been watching my channel for very long or whatever you're like well what what is this what is this this is not the the Bondi 1144 scale snow speeder this is the MPC slash AMT actually no yeah this would be MPC um, AMT had repopped this AT, at the it's basically one one hundred scale AT, at and it came with these uh, these snow speeders and the detail really wasn't that great. And my friend Gary, what he did was that he sculpted this. He totally just transformed this. And I did some images of what the original looked like, and he added these really fantastic little flaps here these air brakes so it's just really really cool looking so yeah what you see here um, it's just the the paint job underneath here now I did get a little bit of the, the red here so what I'm gonna do is just kinda cover that up with some weathering it won't be the big deal at all but yeah this um, is pretty awesome now in case you're curious Let's take a look at the Bandai 1144 scale one. So this is obviously it's I've never um, built it, but this is the 1144 scale, and this is supposed to be 1100 scale. I mean that's that's what they say, but you know whatever. Yeah, um, it really depends on the. I, I think the official size given by Lucasfilm for the ad ads is not really as what they would I don't know I mean, the, the, when they made the movie it, the ad ads seem to be a lot bigger than what the official scale is so 
your miles may vary. But anyhow, this is considerably smaller than the Bandai. I mean, I mean not totally, totally smaller, but it it is definitely noticeably smaller. All right here's the the back grate here. Yeah, it is a bit different. So what I want to do is now that I have done like a, a clear coat, I've done a gloss coat on this. What I need to do is get busy with doing panel lines. So the Tamiya gray panel line accent color is a bit disappointing because it's a little bit too light. They should have made this more of a German gray. don't like that. What I want to use, I've never used this really much before. This is by GSI Krios, Mr. Hobby. This is Mr. Weathering Color, multi-gray. As you can see, it's a bit darker. It should be a lot more noticeable, I think, than using this. So, when you use this stuff, though, you thin it to the consistency that you want. So you don't have to keep rattling the the bottle like you do with the, uh, the, the Tamiya. So I'm just going to use some Mr. Weathering Color Solvent. And uh, let me just go ahead and get set up for this. Alright, so I've put some paper down to protect my uh, my beautiful cutting mat. Gonna stir this up. I already shook it up, but I'm gonna just stir it up. So it's it's already pretty thin, you know. Let's uh, you know, I might not need to thin this. I don't think. Let's just see how it goes. I guess. Um, I, I, if I've ever used this, it was just for a, like a tiny bit, and I can't remember what I used it on. So I'm pretty much gonna count this as my 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 first try here using this stuff. Okay, that's pretty darn thin, I think. I'm gonna put the cap back on. All right, I'm gonna use my fairly thin paintbrush. All right, so as I said, I got a, a gloss coat down. I used a, an acrylic, I can't remember what it was. It was probably Tamiya Clear. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little panel line wash here. Oh, well that works out. You know what, hold on, let me uh, zoom in here. All right, now hopefully you can see this a bit better. All right, let's, uh, let's do this side here. That looks beautiful. Look at that. I am very pleased with this. Oh man, this is going down really well. This is very nice. Now this back, it doesn't need to be that dark. You know, that's a gray. What I'm probably going to do is just dry brush over it. And it should look pretty nice, I think. I hope. Let's see how this goes. So, to recap, and I, I've mentioned this in my uh, my monthly updates. I think like going back to like maybe a, at least a year ago, talking about my plans for this. What I want to do is uh, just put it on like a uh, the add at with a standard base, and just have uh, my, my little friend here looping around it with uh, the the tow cables. Okay. And yeah, it's just so cool. And this is going back a couple of years ago, right? When uh, this is before, I think it was before Bandai even announced they're going to do the the AT, the 144 scale, and which was, of course, therefore also before 
they did the 144 scale snow speeder and ATST set that they did. So, yeah, I was really, really happy when Bandai announced their own ad at, because at the time it was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, they will, first they did the 48 scale ATST. So I guess that was the, the first kind of clue that they were going to be doing that kind of stuff. Very happy. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's enough of my uh, gushing over Bandai, I guess, for today. But, yeah, that's uh, pretty neat stuff. Now, my friend here did a fantastic job sculpting this, re-sculpting this thing, because, I mean, it's just, it was devoid of so much, you know, detail. It just didn't look right at all. But he did this really, really fantastic job. Um, in, in some ways, I, I don't know if I, if I remember, but you know, he's done some things to this that the the Bandai one is kind of lacking a bit. I can't remember. I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll build up both and do a comparison sometime. But in the meantime. Just continue to put this down, and the panel lines are auto filling really well. I'm I'm very happy with what's going on here. It's not really that uh, glossy in the front, though, unfortunately. But panel lines are auto filling rather well, nevertheless. Very nice. All right. Let's just make this kind of filthy. So, what I want to do next kind of make this uh, kind of go overboard a bit here. And get around here. Now, again, this is gray, multi-gray. I have several of these, and I haven't really used any of them. This is uh, this is multi-black and uh, multi-white. Might use this. I don't know if I'm gonna put down the white or not. It's tempting. I mean, you know, it is a snow speeder after all. So we'll see. But um, yeah, neat stuff, huh? All right. Hmm. All right. So maybe I'm not getting it to streak very well. Not really complaining. I mean, this is a pretty nice product that I'm using right now. But yeah, streaking is not really working. There we go. Yeah, this originally did not have like the the recessed panel lines and stuff like that. And like um, the engines here, the engine cans were like really just lumps. And he was able to rescribe these things and uh, re-sculpt them and just such a fantastic job just cutting into them and you know, creating something good. Well, here we go. I think this is looking adequately filthy. Okay, next I'm going to do the black. This has uh, little ball bearings in there, by the way. That's kind of nice. And I'm going to just uh, dump it out. 
Just a little bit. I'm not going to use very much, I don't think. In the paint tray here. Oh my gosh, that's way more than enough. I was just looking for a tiny little bit. Oh my gosh. Well, what's done is done, I guess. Shoot. It's kind of a waste. Alright. What I want to do is get inside this grate here. This is uh, maybe a little bit tacky still, I suppose. Alright. Let's get inside here. Oh, that's looking pretty nice. Get the black in there. Do it on the bottom here. Great. All right, that's fantastic. Now, I know like some of the toys have this as like a, like a dark metallic or something like that, but the studio model might be. Uh, just kind of like a gray color. So, I guess I was thinking more of the toy when, um, when I when I painted this. Oh, well, come to think of it, the original Kenner one. I don't think it was a dark color. I don't know. I'd have to look. All right. Well, here we go on this. I just wanted to get the, the back engine cans, make this uh, black, looks nice. I might get, get around here too, actually, seeing as how I have plenty of this stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. There. All right. Now let's uh, remove some of the excess. I guess I kind of don't want that in the corner there like that. I guess it's all right. Swanky. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of detail painting. This is Tamiya XF-77. This is Imperial Japanese Navy Gray, Sasebo Arsenal. And I got a little bit of the paint retarder, just a little drop. Get it in my little paint tray here. What I would like to do is paint this front grill here. I break up the monotony there. So pictures I've seen of reference, uh, it has this as gray, kind of like a darkish gray. I didn't want to do a German gray though. It might be a little bit too dark. So the paint retarder helps with the hand brushing. I cannot hand brush Tommy acrylics and make them look nice at all. And what I'm going to do is kind of paint this along in the back here as well. All I want to do is just break up some of the monotony, add a little bit more interest. So it looks nice. Don't think I want to do any more. I think I'm just going to leave this. Let me uh, let me let me take a look at some reference. Hold on. Next, what I would like to do is paint the harpoon gun. Got the, the rear gun here. 
And let me get my favorite paintbrush. Oh, I guess I should say that the, the footage that was lost, um, there really wasn't a whole lot of work to be done. You know, this, this, he already hit, my friend had already assembled the, the kit here. The, as it is out of the box, it's just like two halves, the snow speeder is, and it's not really that, that well detailed, right? Um, what he did was, uh, he made these flaps here, and he cut these out himself. He, he designed these, these, uh, these flaps, and he made these little metal rods here. And you, you can see here, it's like segmented. And he had that perfectly, you know, made for me. And he had the holes drilled, so all I had to do was just, uh, use some super glue and attach these guys in place. So that was nice. And he also made this really neat the rear gun here, the rear gunner station here. So I just put in some sky gray. It's the same color as that. And I'm just going to just paint this real quick. And I what the heck got some junk in there. Uh, what the heck? All right, I added some retarder there too as well. I'm oh, sorry, it's not in full, it's not in frame here. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more retarder. Just another drop here. Doink. There we go. Alright, let's mix this up. There, let's just go over this again. There. And then I'll probably hit this with the black paneline accent color stuff to weather the, the harpoon gun. But that's it, I guess. Let me wipe off some of this excess paint. I don't want it to be sick all right I shall let this dry and then I get back to this so neat stuff all right yeah again too bad that the assembly footage was lost but oh well it is now time to do some weathering Okay, I'm going to use this uh, Tamiya Weathering Master. I'm going to be using this soot here, okay? So, just going to rub a bit on my, uh, this is a, like a fine tipped, um, you know, narrow Tamiya cotton swab. So. Get some some uh, streaks here as well, like on the, the wings here. That's that's how the uh, the pictures I've seen, like the studio model, how it looks. It's kind of hard to do this too, because I got this camera in my face. <laughs> but so I got a got the camera in my face. B I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it too and uh, that's just how it goes I guess there
Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's get some, uh, some stuff here. There we go. Now with the clean brush, I'm gonna just kinda... There. Now let's do the bottom part here as well. So as I mentioned before, I got some places where there's a bit of red, so I'm gonna try to cover those those places up as best I can. There, and maybe I should try to make that match. Yeah, it's kind of matching. Okay. There. Now, if I just keep doing this, it's going to look kind of stupid. Don't want to overdo it, right? There. And I guess I can get here as well. There. Cool. Great. All right. So, um, you know, actually, let me uh, hold on here. Let's get some stuff here. So the other thing I did was I, I painted the, the dark gray around here. There's supposed to be like some ribbed um, detailing around here or on the manifold, but it's not there. So I just uh, painted it gray instead. So let's get some streaks going here. Okay. And there. Yeah, I can get some of the stuff on here too. That might be kind of cool. Let's try spinning. That's a good trick. Yeah. Alright. Oh, by the way, uh, I went over this with uh, Dull Coat. Um, I, I did this like about three or four hours ago. I did Flat Clear by Mr. Hobby. It's acrylic. No, Mr. Hobby Aqueous. Okay. <laughs> there. There. Cool, huh? So, I guess I'm done here. Again, I don't want to overdo this. It'll look kind of stupid. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to do any white here. I don't know. <laughs> All right. There. Cool, cool, cool. There you go. Great. All right, so I'm going to end this video now. Um, what I will do is do another clear coat, a uh, flat coat. And then, you, you know what? Let me go ahead and end it by uh, taking care of this here. Let me, uh, let me take care of this. Hold on. Now this, my CA glue is getting kind of really stringy and crappy, so this might be kind of difficult. This uh, thing of CA glue is really old. This is this is pretty nice though. It's a, it comes with a brush, and uh, it lasts a lot longer than a tube. So the tube usually gets kind of gunked up, and I can't I can't open it again after that. Okay, there we go. All right. 
Now, let's put this uh, rear cannon in place. So it just goes right in the hole here. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Jeez. Sorry. Hopefully. Even though I've painted it. Jeez, come on, just get in there. Get in the hole, my dear. There we go. It is now in the hole. Cool, man. Looking cool. So I, I went over this with the, the black, by the way, the, the gun, so that's why it looks kind of darker than the rest of the, the speeder. So, um, and then I, yeah, I, I, I put this, uh, this wire, this is the same wire I'm going to use for the tow cable. I just stuck it in there with, I got some blue tack there. Um, this is the blue tack that uh, uh, Gil, the Styrene Syndicate, uh, he gave this to me. It was super nice of him to do that. So, yeah, I'm just holding it in place with, uh, with, with the, the blue tack and the wire so that I, I can do a, a clear coat. So, um, clear coat, and then after that what I need to do is uh, probably with like a gloss, like a light gray or something rather, do the windows. I'll have to do the windows last because I want to make it glossy looking, but the rest of it should be nice and flat. So, thanks for watching so far. Um, next video, whenever I get around to you know getting back to this 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 build, um, we'll be building the diorama with the ad app. So that'll be exciting stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye.